Hello beautiful beings and welcome back to my channel Soul Journey. My name is Beck, and today I am super excited to share something with you because I don't think anyone else has shared it on YouTube and so I'm pretty pretty stoked. So for those of you who know I uh, follow the teachings of Teal Swan along with a lot of other teachers but she really resonates with me a lot and um, I've unboxed a few of her frequency paintings on here. Um, I have a few of her frequency uh, pendants. Um, her teachings just really resonate with me and I have really grown a lot from her teachings. And recently, uh, in the last week, I went to New York to one of her synchron synchronization workshops, which I will be doing a full video on my experience with that uh, coming soon. So like, if you're interested in seeing that, definitely subscribe um, or stay tuned for that. And while I was there, um, she has produced a tarot deck um, with her frequency paintings. And I have, ooh, little, little itch. I've wanted to get her tarot deck. As you guys know, I am a professional tarot reader and I collect tarot and oracle. And so um, I was like, well, what a perfect time to get her tarot deck. So I grab the tarot deck, I'm about to purchase it, and I look down and I see a Teal Swan Oracle deck, which I have never seen, ever. Not on her website, not on YouTube, and I was like, oh my gosh, this has to be a new deck that like isn't like out yet. And I asked them, I was like, is this going to go on the website? And they said they didn't know, which I can't imagine it won't be. Um, but I didn't want to take that chance because you can order the tarot deck online. And I was like, well, I, I need to get the, the Oracle deck. <laughs> and then I looked on YouTube and I have not seen any videos on this Oracle deck. <laughs> so I was like, ooh, first. <laughs> so today um, I did unbox it that night. So this isn't like an unboxing. This is more of just like a look through and review. Um, so today we are going to have a look at the Blind Spot Oracle Cards by Teal Swan. Uh, it's a 78 card deck and guidebook by Teal Swan. The box is absolutely magic. I mean, this is, ugh. Teal works with cards, so she knows what she's doing. And um, her tarot deck is just in a little cardboard box, remember, but this is just like next level. Again, this is probably going on her website. I got it at the workshop but I'm not really sure where you can get this. So like, you know, look out for it. Um, what I noticed here, okay, so this deck is a sigils deck. So it's a little different from her frequency uh, tarot. These are sigils that she made while in trance for different blind spots. So basically the shadow aspects of whatever you're looking at. And I was like, that's really, really cool. I'm really excited about that. And what I noticed is actually on the front here, these little symbols are actually all the sigils, which I thought was really kind of like a cool thing. And then on the back, it has her here and just a little thing about the blind spot. It says the blind spot Oracle deck is designed to specifically tell you what you are not aware of relative to whatever you are consulting the cards for. Each sigil in this deck has the capacity to influence you like a teacher or guide so as to make you aware relative to the specific blind spot it has chosen to be assigned to. Teal Swan is a personal transformation revolutionary who was born highly intuitive, um, she's extra sensory, has a uh, as a renowned author, speaker, and public figure, she travels the world teaching about self-awareness and integration of an emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual level. So, for more information, check out tealswan.com. Obviously, this is not sponsored. I'm just really, really excited. So, the box is gorgeous. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, what level it's on, because it's, it's better than most boxes that I have come across. I mean, if I was going to, like, compare it, probably closest would be, like, Blue Angel, but it's, like, nicer than that. There is a box that this is reminding me of, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Anyway, so... Here's the box like this. Now I'm not gonna go through all the sigils because the cards look all very similar. So I will show you kind of what's going on with them. Um, but first, here's the book. It's a really nice book. Um, and it starts off um, talking about the blind spot oracle. 
um, talking about the images. Now, what she says um, about the sigils is unlike a symbol where it represents something, a sigil is used in magical, um, can be used in spell work. It holds the frequency of the actual thing. So it's actually more of like a portal for that um, energy. And so these sigils were created by Teal while she was in trance, channeling what would be best for each blind spot. So she said that some of them um, actually hold the frequency of the blind spot, so that will be the teacher, and then other ones almost hold like the opposite of the frequency, so that it helps like bring your awareness to it. Um, before you begin, uh, she talks that about not clearing the deck, because when each sigil works, um, that energy actually makes the sigil work better, which is kind of interesting that she specifically said don't clear it. Um, and then she talked about how to, um, different ways to use it. She has some spreads here. Um, and it's just like the beginning. So the first 10, 11 pages are introduction. And then it gets into the meanings of the cards. And as you can see, um, the sigils aren't actually in the page, on the pages, but it's a good like one and a half pages for each sigil, I say. And they're pretty hard hitting. <laughs> Like, I pulled two and I'm like, damn. But I mean, your blind spots, right? They're your shadows. So, so sh each one kind of goes into it. And maybe, maybe I'll pull a card for the, the video. Does that sound good? All right, so that's the book. Again, really nice quality. Thank you, Teal. Uh, <laughs> now, inside, the cards are held here. And these are beautiful. Um... I tend to be a fan of matte cards, so, um, but that's, that's just a preference. These cards are really nice. Um, so I will show you one of them. I will say they're not like my favorite. They're a little cardboardy, but not like, not like a lot. They're, they're, they're nice. It's a nice deck. Um, they have a good bend ratio. Um, and this is what the back looks like here really beautiful it looks like there's some sigils in there too and it's it's signed and there this is what all the cards look like um now like I'm not gonna lie like the whole border with the paper thing like like it is what it is um the sigil obviously is the most important part um so it's you know I do love this blue color though it is really really beautiful and it looks like it kind of has like an eye of Horus kind of like thing going on there which I think is really cool kind of like the awareness the intuition opening um so I think that is really really cool so I'm just gonna each one is numbered um so I'll kind of show you like some of the cards and like I said they all have this like same design on them And then you have to look up like the actual meaning in the book, which I think is kind of interesting. Like I think if I had like my way, I would have put the word on it so that someone doesn't necessarily have to go to the book to, ooh, that's intriguing, go to the book to find out what it is. It'd be kind of cool to do it a little intuitively too. But Teal is extrasensory and stuff, so I'm going to trust that she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Um, so they're pretty cool. Sigils are really interesting. Um, there's a lot of different ways they can be made. Uh, these look very different from like, like the witchy sigils that I, you know, I see they'll be like, pick like, you know, pick the word that you want to manifest and then, or the sentence and then take out all the vowels and like, don't cop, you know, only have one of each letter and then like make a symbol out of those. This doesn't look like that to me. I mean, maybe she added like a ton, but it doesn't look like that to me. This this is um, kind of a whole different thing. So they're pretty interesting looking. Um, that's cool. What's weird is it actually feels like it's supposed to go like that. I'm not sure why. Um, so yeah, so this is what the deck looks like. Um, the cardstock is really nice. Each sigil has its own thing. And I really, like I said, I've only pulled two cards, so I'm not like well versed in this deck yet. I will say the only thing like, um, 
bothers me is I don't feel like I could read for a client unless I literally memorized the deck because I'd, I'd have to because there's no keywords. So, all right, I'm going to pick a card and then I'm going to read some, if not all, of what it says. But this is the message for this card. So, this resonates. Beautiful. If it doesn't, that's okay too. This is just giving us an idea of, ooh, wow. Triangulation, 28. It's three pages long. Okay, but that's not what we're looking at for. 29, wanting to be right. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is like several pages, so I'm just going to read the beginning of it. So, if you have drawn this sigil, you are not clearly seeing that either consciously or subconsciously you are wanting to be right more than you are wanting anything else. The truth in this situation is that it doesn't matter if you are right or not. You may be very wrong in this scenario or you may be very right. Either way, what matters is that you are valuing being right over everything else and this will lead to pain. It is a, wrapped, uh, a warped priority to have if you want a genuine improvement to take place. If you are valuing being right over effectiveness, you need to ask yourself, what is your goal? What do you get out of being right? In relationships, especially when it comes to conflict resolution, this will get in, us into a lot of trouble. It will take finding a solution. It will make <laughs> it will make finding a solution impossible. It will lock us into a struggle of ego versus ego. We need to ask ourselves if we want to be right or have success. We need to ask ourselves if we want to be right or if we want connection, because often these things are opposed. What we tend to do when we are defending our position is that we get louder. We feel ourselves losing ground relative to something that is very important to us. We talk over others, we interrupt, we shut others down, we try to convince everyone that we are right. It is akin to an alternate reality experience because we get feverish like a dog with food aggression over a bone. It feels it feels like this because our brain has quite literally been hijacked. Our body is being flooded with stress chemicals. The body makes a choice that it is being flooded with these messages. Um, it is being flooded with these messages and that we are being threatened. Whether that threat is external, an external threat or just the threat of shame and the loss of power associated with being wrong. And that choice is to shut down executive function like compassion and strategy. Uh, and strategy and openness. Instead, our instinct takes over and we do one of four things. And then it kind of goes into um, kind of examples. Um, and then it says, if you have drawn the sigil, you've got to let go of the need to be right and instead look to be understood. To do this, you'll have to put effort into understanding others, listening to them, seeing them and feeling them. When you do that for others, they will want to do it for you. All people have important opinions, perspectives, and, informative, and information to share. You will soon find that the reward of actual connection will trump the feeling of being right and proving that you are right. So, like I said, pretty hard-hitting messages. Um, I am excited to work with this deck, if not a little nervous. I don't think it's going to pull its punches. <laughs> um... But honestly, like if we really want to evolve and do our shadow work and really be present, sometimes we need that. So anyway, this is the Blind Spot Oracle Cards by Teal Swan. Like I said, I'm not sure um, when this is going to be available. Yeah, <clears throat> like this was out in 2019. So I'm assuming it's going to be on, you know, on her website at some point. There was a package that we got like... Um, like a package deal that we got at the workshop where we could get this um, and it was gonna be sent to us so I think it's just not on the website yet but if you look at the you know look at like the shop I've only seen the tarot deck there right now I don't know how how many of these have been at workshops but my one of my best friends um, went to a workshop just a month or so ago and she said she didn't see this so it is brand new pretty excited so definitely comment down below if it's out when you know you see this video or if this intrigues you or if you have any questions um like I said I haven't worked a lot with this deck yet so we'll see I might be able to answer questions better as the months progress so definitely uh leave a comment if this deck intrigues you and head over uh, to tealswan.com to, to check out her stuff and also her tarot deck and all that yummy stuff so 
Thank you so much for watching. Please definitely give this a like and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And also if you want to see my video on my Teal Swan synchronization workshop video, that will be coming soon as well. And if you'd like to check out my other social media platforms, the link to that in the, is in the description down below, <laughs> along with my Etsy shop if you'd want a personal reading with me or see my other uh, Soul Journey tools on my uh, Etsy shop which is all down in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Namaste. And don't forget, it is all about the soul journey.